Hello guys, welcome to Bike Geek. In today's video, we're going to fix an issue related to the Windows recovery environment, a crucial feature that many users overlook until they actually need it. Windows recovery environment is a specialized pre-installation environment that's built right into Windows, offering a suite of advanced diagnostic and recovery tools. These tools are designed to help you troubleshoot and fix a wide range of problems, especially when your system won't boot properly or you're facing serious system errors. However, in some systems, this recovery environment is either disabled or missing entirely, which means when you try to access it, whether through the shift plus restart method or automatic recovery, you find that most of the recovery options simply aren't there. And when that happens, it can leave you stranded during a critical moment. But don't worry, in this video, I'll walk you through the steps to restore and re-enable these missing recovery options in both Windows 10 and Windows 11 operating system, so you can get your system back on track with confidence. Let's get started. When you're back in your Windows operating system, it's time to enable the missing advanced recovery options. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar and type CMD. From the results, right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator. This will launch the terminal with full administrative privileges, allowing you to make system level changes. Now, let's check whether the recovery environment is currently enabled or disabled. To do this, type the command reagency forward slash info, then press enter. After executing the command, you'll see a status message. If it says Windows RE status disabled, that means the advanced recovery options are currently turned off on your system. Let's fix that. In the same command prompt window, type the command eagents forward slash enable, then press enter again. It will take a few moments, but once it completes, you should see a message saying operation successful. This means the Windows recovery environment has been re-enabled successfully. Now that we've successfully enabled everything, it's time to check if the advanced options are available in the recovery environment. To do that, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard. While holding it, click on the start menu, then go to the power icon and select restart, all while still holding down the shift key. When you see please wait on your screen, you can release the shift key. Once your PC restart, you'll land on the recovery screen. From here, click on troubleshoot and you'll gain access to the full set of advanced recovery tools. Click on advanced options and you'll now notice that all the essential tools are back, like system restore, command prompt, startup repair, system image recovery and more. These are powerful tools that can help fix a wide range of system issues. For example, if you have a system image backup, you can restore your PC to a previous state. Or if you've created restore points, you can roll back your system. And of course, with Command Prompt, you can run advanced recovery commands manually. And that's it for today's video. You've now learned how to enable and access the full set of advanced recovery options in Windows operating system. These tools can be a real lifesaver when your system runs into trouble, so it's always good to make sure they're available and working. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe for more easy to follow tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.